Now, though, has the big Ange bubble burst at Spurs. Can Tottenham win the league? Why not? Why can't we not win the league? What, because we're Tottenham and everyone says that we crumble? Why can't we? We can. Why can't we? We can. Why can't we? We can. We can. We can. They used to call it three points lane. Chelsea are always their kryptonite. It's finished. Tottenham won, Chelsea four. Come back to win by two goals to one. Yeah, last two results haven't been great, but as I've said all along, we're at the beginning of trying to build something, and I think you stay really um, focused on that. Wouldn't you just know it? Tottenham one, Aston Villa two. Tottenham from one nil up, all of a sudden are staring down the barrel of a third straight Premier League defeat. Here we are. Why have you got such a big smile on your face? I haven't. Oh, you have. People can see it. We're live on YouTube. Yeah, you'll see me not smiling. Uh, Tottenham's next game of the weekend is against Man City. Yeah. Away. Then I think it's West Ham, then Newcastle, I think. Yeah, that's right. What's happened to Spurs? Is it a blip? Or is this just Spurs? Roy Keane said Spurs. I thought, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I thought I love Roy Keane. I thought it was a little bit harsh. Do you know what? A lot of people... So like, why is the music still like A lot of people that I know think that you're a Spurs fan, you know. I'm telling you, that's so many people. All right. I think you are. Okay, so you want me to come out and deny it, do you? Okay, I'm not. You, I think you are. I'm, I'm, I'm not even being facetious. Right. So many people come up to me and say, Andy, well, no, I'm just trying to balance things up. You're Arsenal. You never right? balance it. You, you, no, no, no. Any other club, you don't balance it up for. Yeah, but any other club you don't go after. I do. Who? Man United. No, you, yeah, <laughs> and then that's my team. No, I, I get it. You know what it is? It's one of those where the last three games, I think sometimes with Andy's is football, and it, listen, it's great to watch. They come out of the trap so fast. Spurs so fast. But I think at some point, we saw at the weekend the difference in quality of manager. See, they, I tell you what, right, and you say you think I'm defending them. What what I'm doing is I'm just painting the picture, okay. right? They lost Harry Kane, mm-hmm. okay? And and you could see, without any shadow of a doubt, Van der Ven and uh, Madison yeah. would, just took them to another level, mm-hmm. right? And you knew that. You could see their performance. Okay, yeah. He was sorting out the back, and Madison was sorting out everything going forward. I, I don't. I wouldn't say it's Spursy. I just think Spurs have gone back to where Spurs are, without excellent players in the team. Okay. okay, okay and and, okay. and they, I wouldn't say they were punching, but those two. If they, if Spurs, here's my here's my thing. If those two players stayed fit, mm. we wouldn't have sp- have seen Spurs capitulate against Chelsea. No, but my my point is, you don't give that that to any other team. When I amount of times I said to you about Chelsea in the injury list, you went. That's what got the squad for, right? Did you not? No, no, no. Just, just what you, that's whatever no, I used to no, throw. No, that, no, no, no. If I threw injuries at you, you'd all, you would always say to no, me on no, this no. show, no, th- we got, that's what you got no, scored for. No, no, no. Yeah, no, of course I would say that. But but Spurs are the Spurs of last year and the year before and the year before and the year before. It's just they had two unbelievable players that who injured. have been injured. So what I'm saying is, I don't see this as a big... Like, Roy Keane's gone, they're Spursy again. I'm like, yeah, but that's just Spurs. Well, so Spurs are Spursy. I, no, yeah. I, Spurs I, are right, I, and, the, and, the, and you put two, you put two players that are head and shoulders above the rest of the team in. Mm-hmm. They're going to be much better. You take them out, and then you're going to have to replace them with Spurs players. They're going to be Spurs again. I just think you look at the weekend, and I get it. Andy wants to play a certain particular brand of football, and yeah, as I said, they come out of the blocks really, really fast. But I think we saw a difference in quality of manager because. Unamri at halftime, even though Villa went in at halftime, one, yeah, I'll give you I, that. I, I didn't think they played well at all first no, half. No, you're right. Half. Second half, he brings on Leon Bailey, because Diaby wasn't having his best yeah. game. Brings on um, midfield player uh, who was at Leicester. Tillemans yeah. makes all the he difference. Was, he was fantastic, by they the start way. To, they start to control position. And then yeah. these little tweaks, look what happens. Villa go on, be- I thought they were the better side second half. And by the way, their away record's not that great. Yeah, so I was, I was really surprised. Exactly. Yeah. So I just think with Ange and the way that he wants to play football, and I get it, it's exciting. It it must be like night and day compared to Conte and Mourinho. I get all that. But at some point in some games, you have to go, do you know what? Look at the personnel that we've got. We haven't got Van der Ven. Romero, for his own problems, because he does rash challenges, does yeah. stupid stuff, yeah. he's no longer there. You've got, uh, ben, you've ben, got ben Davis, Davis and, and you've got Emerson Royale. Royale. Surely you must know to yourself, well, we can't play this particular way, so let's, let's maybe change it up a little bit. The fact that he's so stubborn and doesn't want to do that... And, and leaves Eric Dyer on the bench. Leaves Eric Dyer on the bench. 
I get it. Maybe it's pace. He's thinking, yeah, I get that. I, I just need runners. But at the same time, you try and bring that, and they've done well against Manchester City, you try and play that high line against them, oh, the, the, we'll see what happens then. Yeah, they'll be week. absolutely slaughtered. So at some point, you've got to go, I enjoy what I'm watching, I love what Andrew's doing, and if we had these two players, yeah, it would be better. But at some point, you've got to go, well, we haven't got these two players, so do you know what? Maybe we maybe shouldn't be as high, maybe come off a little bit, and then maybe but, 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 a different tactic. I, I, I agree with everything you said, right? But... Actually, yeah, no, you're right. Because I, I was going to say that it, what should Spurs be doing then? But just adapt. Una Emre showed then that they can adapt. Okay, he's, another, he's got a much better squad. Okay, another example. It's about injuries. Okay, no. Newcastle United at the weekend. They have got that many players. I'm talking about eight first teamers out yeah. that could be starting. They find a way to get it done against Chelsea. Yeah. So th- there's, there's, we'll talk about that by the way a bit later on because yeah. you said Chelsea back. Well, no, they played. I mean, they were until Newcastle obviously well, completely they, destroyed them. They, yeah, they, they conceded, conceded four against Man City and beat a nine man okay, Spurs. They, and they, you said they were back on they, the back okay, of those two games. They, they, okay, but since you, since they played Spurs, you said Spurs are in a better place. They've lost all no, three no, games. No, I didn't say that. You you, just, you said Chelsea would come out of that game in a better place than Spurs. And I, I did. And I went, no, I said, two, two good results. Well, they, but they haven't. They have. They're just Newcastle. They haven't. But listen, we're not talking about Chelsea. Okay. This is a Newcastle have got out right at the minute. We're talking about injuries. Harvey Barnes. No, I totally Gottman, agree with you. Dan Byrne. Longstaff, who's been brilliant. Your boy, Matt Target, who you love. Yeah. Tonali, Callum Wilson. They were, without, they were without two of their strikers for a long time. Yeah, exactly. So I just think... I get who did it. you say I love? <laughs> Matt Target. That's your guy, Oh, man. right. Okay, yeah. Matt Target, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Good fullback, man. It, it, it's one of them where I get it. He wants to play a certain way and it's really entertaining to watch. But at some point, you've got to look at the personnel, the senior dressing room and go, yeah. we can't continue see, to play this see, way. See, when you say I'm defending Spurs, what, what I'm, it, I don't want it to come across like that. But what I'm saying is... I've not e- said it. People e- said no, this no, to no. me. But what I'm saying is everyone's put Spurs on this big pedestal. Mm. And I don't see... I didn't see that. I thought they were overachieving because they had two unbelievable players. Mm. You take them out. And I'm like, why is everyone screaming going, oh, there's a bubble burst? I didn't think there was a bubble. Do you think there was no bubble to begin with? I, did, I didn't... Like, you know, with Jamie Hart getting excited, why can't we win the league? Mm. Never going to happen. Yeah. It was I'd... never... They, they were playing a really high line of very exciting football with two really special players mm. in their team, right? You take them out... The rest Mo- of the team's just Spurs. Most teams have had in- big injuries to their squad. As I said, Chelsea have been decimated. Newcastle have, have got the worst. Arsenal have missed players. Not Thomas Party all year. Arsenal have had injuries. You don't have in- injuries. Yeah, well, we haven't had a proper back four all season. Do you know what I mean? So, I, I get it. You, you can't use that one argument where, well, they've got injuries when you don't use it about others. No, but the reason the Spurs fans are using that is because those two players are so key. That's what your yeah, squad's it, for. I know, I know. But it takes a, a 6 out of 10 Spurs team to a 9 out of 10. Yeah. That's the difference. So that's my thing about Big Ange is that he has to find a different way because next week if I you play that high line against Manchester City they, it well, could he become, will he will right it doesn't change but then, like, he won't change but you, you're going to have to the, all the top managers the very best out there can adapt 100% Una right Una Emery looked, 100% at, looked right. at that first that first half against and said Spurs are battering us here yeah. we, we look lacklustre in possession something has to give this one I'm going to do DRB get off you've been one of our best players this year get off yeah. Tillemans get on that pitch well, as well control well, position well like you said if Spurs were 2-1 down against Chelsea with 9 men with Jose yeah. Right? And I'm not a Jose fan, by the way. Shop. They shut up shop. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.